Hello again. Now, having just covered um, the air tool systems in the workshop, I thought probably best to start covering servicing these air tools. Because if you don't look after them properly, buying cheap ones just means you're going to have a lot more trouble down the line. So you need to keep up with them, maintain them. So this video, I'm going to cover maintaining the stapler. Um, the reason being is it's let me down. I've only had it a few weeks, only used it a few times, but it keeps jamming. So I need to get inside and find out why it's jamming, what's causing it. I've even got a broken staple there inside it. So, first thing, get some tools. Okay, so a standard Allen key for these. Um, just take these out of the front, remove it fully. Now again, like I say, with power tools, if you're in doubt, take a little photograph and you'll see how it goes back together again from that photograph. All I can do, do a video. And you can never go wrong because you just play it back and back and back until you get it right. Now this is spring loaded. So be a little bit ready for it. So once you've taken that plate off, Put it to one side so you've got the screws. Then you've got to remove this spring. Just pull it up, take it out, put it to one side. It's just like a pen spring. It's just a little tiny thing, but don't lose it. Then this comes out, it's just hooked in the body there. Keep this out of the way. And this just comes out of there. Like so. And then another cover plate. And there's the problem. Look at that. That's actually a new tool. And look at it. It's rusty. Eh. So if you're going to buy cheap sil silver line tools, be ready for rust. That needs to come out and be clean. That's why it's seizing up. Now look, things stuck underneath there as well. And push that back up out of the way. And get all these broken staples out. Okay, so I need to get all that out. And this, I've got to be honest, is going beyond how far I've gone before. It seems beyond what they want you to go. Yeah, they're talked in. Wow. Okay, let's try the top. That's possible. Why the top to that uh, front in, I don't know. But I'm assuming we can get it access from the top here and get at that plate to clean it. Feeling that, it's under the empty, it'll go back. Um, but you may have older tools that this happens to, and it's always useful to know that should anything go wrong, you can service it. Warranties don't last forever. That is spring loaded. So, cautiously. Take two out diagonally, and then carefully take the other two out. You see, very strong spring there. Now, I really do not know how these things work. I'm learning myself now. I'm going to get one on the back of that. Right, I want to put a 
power tool onto it because it's going to come out quick. I need it to come out quick. See if we haven't hold it clever. Now I can slowly release that and just see what happens. Not a right lot of anything. You know, go like that, that goes like that. That then comes out and goes like that. This year. And generally. Mm hmm. Wonderful. That side straight down and straight in. Is that clean in there? It seems okay. Seems greased up. So it seems it's just that, because that is so bloody rusty, that it's seizing up in there. And that's why it's not coming back up. So, let's give that a clean up and get it back together. As you can see in there, there's not a right lot of anything. We don't need to go stripping it down any more than that. That's everything in there. These wouldn't come out. But I don't, don't see why we'd need that out. We're just holding that. They're just holding this on. So we don't need that. It's a fine wire wall. Very fine paper. Looks a lot better. Right, let's reassemble it all and see if that is going to cure the problem. Two turns on each. Slowly wind it down. Okay. Back again. Not a it. And make sure all these things are clean and then add some oil to them. Especially on that shaft there because that's what matters. That's where everything's pushed down. By that bar. This now you won't get this on if that it is closed. It's got to be open. It goes in so that, that plate goes just before the trigger there, inside that slot, and then it'll just drop there. You can put that in place first, and then get everything else lined up for it. It sits on top, and that sits on top of that. 
Now these are not actuators, you can get oil into them quite easily afterwards. So onto there. No, I've not forgot the spring, but the spring can go in afterwards. It's easy enough to get it in. Easier, easier than these. Everything's got to be lined up before they will go in. <coughs> That's a manual tool. Mind them. And again, when it's finished, just give them a nip so it feels it's not going to shake loose with vibration. That's all. That's it. Right. The spring, pull the thing down, put it in underneath it there first, and then just press it in, and it will go into that bottom slot there where it needs to be. And that's it. That's all it is. It's nothing really difficult. Okay. Right, let's get some air onto it, and let's just see how good that performs now. Right, first, and the air coming out, that's just sealed it. So, more, more tension on that until it stops leaking. That's better. Okay, without any staples. Because that bar was sitting down after it had been fired wasn't returning back up because of its seizing. Now that, I would say, is going to be perfect. Let's shove some staples in just to prove it. Now the one thing I get with these, I'll show you. There's a pack of staples from Silverline, made for this. It even says on there, link for staples when you buy that. Put them in. Okay, and there's your standard length. No problem, straight in, yeah? Try and get it in. It won't go. There's just no way. Not oh, good, man. Hi, break it now. Perfect. Yeah, so you've got to break them in half. I'll break a bit off, but I'd break them in half, not where you don't lose as much. But, yeah, what's that all about? Okay, so let's see how we're working. I think we're working, don't you? So there you go, how to service and repair as it turned out, an air staple gun. And if yours is also silver line, you're bound to know now exactly how to do it because it's the same model. Right, well, there you go. Any questions on what I've done? Shove them in the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, once again, thanks for watching. Bye for now.